Today, I am going to show you how to install Thorium Browser on Windows 10 operating systems. Keep in mind that the following instruction will work for Windows 11 and MacBooks, as well as Linux, Raspberry Pi, Android phones, and a bunch of other systems. This is a very quick process, but for someone who is just looking for a big button that says download me, it's not going to be the most intuitive process. Before we dive into the install, I just want to say that yes, this is probably one of the fastest browsers available. But would I trust it with my passwords or go shopping inside this browser? Probably not. And I take no responsibility for what happens after you download it and install it on your machine. With that out of the way, let's get started. Head over to your favorite browser and search for Thorium Browser. And the first result for me is Thorium Browser from thorium.rocks. Click on the link. Now on the home screen, you want to scroll down until you see the section marked Links. And then choose your operating system. So Mac OS users would click on this link, Linux for this link, and Windows 7, Android, Raspberry Pi, and I am installing for Windows 10, so I'm going to click on this link here. Now we're at the GitHub page. We need to download the executable program to install the browser. You want to scroll down and look for the Thorium Mini Installer.exe and left click to download it. Once it has finished downloading, you can go to your downloads folder by clicking on the little folder icon. And here is our installer. We're going to double click on it now. And after about 30 seconds, Thorium Browser will open itself up and it looks a lot like Chrome. That's actually because it is based off of Chrome. If you receive any errors on the top right where the hamburger icon is, you just want to click on it and manage your extensions by either enabling or removing the two extensions that are up here or by going to extensions and manage extensions. And you can see I have already disabled the Chromium PDF viewer and the Google Hangouts extension that was causing an issue. 